Basically, A Man of No Importance is about a middle-aged Dublin bus conductor. That's his life. He gets up every morning and he takes tickets on the bus, takes tickets on the way back, and then he goes home to his apartment every day. Well, the twist to this story is that it's 1964 Dublin, Ireland, okay? And he is a closet homosexual man who realizes there is nothing what he longs for, he can never have. And the only person that he can speak to about it is Oscar Wilde. So throughout the play, you have Oscar Wilde appearing to him that he can talk to. There's the only one he can come out to is Oscar Wilde. And A Man of No Importance was done as a specialty musical for Lincoln Center in New York. Um, and it was only designed to run like a few weeks it ran three months. It, it was that much, that heralded by the press and people just kept going to see it. So and they eventually had to close it because of their contract and they couldn't continue running. Uh, who knows how long it would have run, wow. so. But I think Aaron's and Flaherty are composers that have reached a level of Rodgers and Hammerstein, Kander and Ebb. Um, ragtime is Americana. A Man of No Importance is Dublin, Ireland. They have found the streets of Dublin in their score. And it is really something to listen to. Wow. And the story of Alfie is actually told by his ragtag team of, of church players. They, they do plays and shows at the church hall, and, uh, which I think is a very interesting way of presenting it. I think uh, Terrence McNally did a really great job on putting that together. Yeah. And, uh, and in so doing, you have very huge egos and attitudes and the characters. I think what makes this play so special are the characters themselves. Not just Alfie, everyone around him, all of his, you know, his stage managers and his electricians and the lead characters who think they are the greatest gift to theater that ever walked, but they're not. You know, There's one character who... <laughs> It's probably the worst actor that has ever been on a stage, but as typical with community theater, sometimes you just got to have one more guy, yeah. so you put up with a, you know, a less than stellar performance to get that guy in your show. So. And my lead actor, Randy Bashan, is just doing an amazing job with it. You know, and with the beauty of A Man of No Importance and how they wrote this script is long before the audience discovers his secret, you already like him so much. So by the time that all this, you know, bad stuff seems to be happening here and there and driving him insane and his so-called inner tur turmoil, you, you know, you really start, you're already rooting for him, you know. I am having a wonderful time. I love my cast. I love the show. My, my music director, Ellen Gr Barry Grundon, um, she, after we, I directed Kander and Ebb's Curtains two years ago, she said, what are you going to do next? And I was like, I have no idea. She said, take a look at this one. And I, I bought the cast album, and I tell you, I, I've probably listened to it a thousand times, you know, thinking about how to direct and how to stage this. I never grow tired of it. In fact, every time I listen to it, I love it more. It's that kind of score. You know, and the story is just yeah. beautifully told.